Good evening. I'm Gary Miller, President of Gary Miller Photography, and my career has extended over the last five decades in the field of photography. I've seen this great profession go from mostly studio work with big four by five cameras, black and white, flash bulbs, moving into smaller two and a quarter cameras, the eventing of, inventing of the strobe and allowing people to be more portable and taking pictures, candids, photojournalism of weddings and bar mitzvahs and social events. And as time went on, there was a great photographer in like the 1960s, beginning of the 70s, who talked about being a master of lighting and bringing backgrounds and hydraulic stools and portraiture to social events like weddings and really learning how to make people look beautiful and look the best, getting rid of all the negative and accentuating the positive. Now we entered the field of digital photography and instead of being a master of lighting and posing and realizing what exposure is all about, it seems just put your camera on program, push the button, and a lot, most of the competition now is people who are just running out buying a camera and just having a blast shooting unlimited amount of pictures since there's no cost of film and proofing and having a great time. But when it comes to taking these images that have a wide range of tones and putting it on paper, it doesn't always work. And when they don't know how to use lighting instead of having beautiful, rich colors, it's sort of dark and dingy, washed out. Uh, there's a lot of raccoon eyes because of the overhead lights and, uh, and people run and are excited about a lot of the new people with new enthusiasm and new techniques of photography, but when they sit and analyze what they got, they're very disappointed. And I just received a letter from one of the clients, one of my clients who chose not to use me and use one of these more exciting photographers. And she wrote a beautiful letter expressing really what happened and that maybe if there would have been a compromise between traditional people who knew a little bit more, she might have had a better memory of her event. So let me share this with you. So she really basically started telling me we had so much fun with my wedding photographer. I love my wedding. The photographer was wonderful. We didn't have to come early and pose for those silly portraits. I didn't have to have my family disturbed by doing all those family portraits. I could concentrate on the important thing like my nails, my hair, and my makeup. I was surrounded by my be best friends and we could drink champagne and relax instead of wasting our time posing for pictures. The photographer was wonderful. She fit right in with the group laughing and giggling and her camera was so small that it didn't wasn't even noticed. No big lights blaring in our faces. It would be natural, just like we remembered it. It was like having my own special playmate who would follow me around all day recording my wedding, my way, the way that I saw it and the way that I felt it. I didn't have to bother with brothers and sisters and cousins and with grandparents bossing me around and spoiling my moment. When I was ready for the groom, he was brought in to me and we went outside and played in the street, capturing the way we felt about each other at the moment. This intuitive photographer showed my wedding the way it was supposed to be. Since I am the bride and it's about showing my ring, my veil, my dress, both back and front, my shoes and my decoration, my grand entrance and my wedding vows. This is why I picked a woman photographer because she expressed my point of view. There I was whirling and twirling and laughing my way through my wedding day. Everyone was so proud of me and the way I had planned my wedding. I can't get over the way my photographer had so much insight in being there for my grand entrance, my first dance, me and my girlfriends. For my opening 
From my opening moment to my closing moment, she was there for me. She captured the real interaction of me and my special friends. She didn't force me to pose with all of those less meaningful guests. I didn't need uh, pictures of the tables, and I didn't really need to bother with silly groups. We wasted no time. We drank, danced, laughed through the whole event. No one was disturbed by my special moments. When I got a CD from my wonderful photographer, there were thousands of images. The amount was overwhelming, and they were all mine to do with, as I thought fit to do. I know Photoshop, and when I get to it, I will create the album of a lifetime, just for me, the way I always had envisioned it. On the other hand, my parents and in-laws are so archaic. They complained about silly things like sharpness, and color. They didn't like the arty way my photographer tilted the camera and cropped into some heads. My parents couldn't stop complaining that their friends and their family weren't covered in my pictures. If that wouldn't have been important, if that would have been important to me, I would have hired their photographer. I didn't want to have the same boring album that they had collecting dust on the shelves for decades. I'm a part of a new generation with new thinking. I want a hands-on way of creating my own memories, my own way. This is my special day. It's been a couple years since my wedding, and I really don't have time to Photoshop all of those images. There are so many duplicates, and where, where did all the raccoon shadows come from? Everything has an orange tinge, so the focus could have been a little better. I really would have liked to have a picture of my grandparents before they died. My parents are still whining about not having formal portraits to put on the wall. Who needs that? I sent all the important images to my friends on Facebook. There are still images on my phone. They won't stop harassing me because part of the heads are missing. Soon I will have time to create my own album and make them a copy. Soon I will learn how to get rid of the dark circles under my eyes and all those pesky red blotches. Maybe I can find someone to do this for me. All I care about is that I love my wedding photographer. And that's really what's happened nowadays. People get excited, they get in the moment, their friends pick this new and exciting photographer, they haven't made enough mistakes, they really don't know what photography is all about, and after they sit down and look at what they get, got, they're very disappointed. So there has to be a blending of new and old, and when you've been around for a long time and made a lot of different mistakes and solved a lot of problems, you become a master. So before you jump in to something new, you might think about something, get, skidding something that's from a, a photographer who's been around for a while. Thank you very much. Our website is GaryRMiller.com. See you again.